Your mouth is like a spaceship and the wine is like the pilot of the spaceship. <laughs> I made Amanda crack up. Your mouth is like a spaceship and the wine is like a pilot of your mouth spacecraft. <laughs> and, <laughs> stop laughing! <laughs> what? Your mouth is going to fly into outer space when you take a sip of this wine. Your, your, mouth, your mouth is like a spaceship and the wine is like the pilot of your mouth spacecraft and the structure of the wine is like how a, the structure of the wine is like how artful the pilot is in your mouth spacecraft that's <laughs> that's the best way i know to explain it what it's a combination of taste and feel the structure is fantastic cuz all i'm trying to say is the structure is fantastic here my mouth spacecraft is happy Hey everybody, how's it going? Just hanging out at the mattress store. So I kind of stayed up late last night and woke up early this morning. So I'm kind of tired, but from the moment we got here this morning till about 30 minutes ago, and it's 6 p.m., we've been busy. So good day in mattress land. When we got here today, Madison was standing outside. She didn't have her key with her. And we pulled up, we have the key, and then Madison was like, there's somebody in there. So we figure out that last night we didn't lock one of the doors. We have like, we have like 12 doors we have to lock. So Amanda locked up last night and I guess she just missed one door. So a customer got here this morning before us and went ahead and came in and tried out mattresses. Like she must not have been here long because we got here at like 10.07. Madison got here at 10 without a key. We got here about 10.07. She probably wasn't here much before 10. Either way, customer was in the mattress store when we got here. That was really weird. But what's cool about it is she bought the mattress she was trying out when we got here. So really bad on our part for not checking twice after we locked up. But hey, good for us. We got to sell. <laughs> I just went in the back corner and took like a 20 minute nap. I was telling you earlier I didn't have sleep last night. So I took like a 20 minute nap and feel a lot better. Just a little nap is all it took. It really made up for my lack of sleep. I feel great now. I feel like I'm ready to have, have the rest of my night without like conking out early. So that's good. Amanda and Madison are locking up right now and hopefully this time we'll get every single door. If you are a customer and you want to come in the mattress store while we're not here, as long as the door's unlocked and you don't take anything and you buy something when I get here, then right on. <laughs> I'm just kidding, that was pretty weird. I'm thinking I might drink this 2009 Frank Catanac tonight. Maybe? I bought it a couple of years ago and it wasn't expensive and now it's expensive. I don't usually have the patience with wine to buy a bottle a year or two before it's going to mature, but I'd like to get into it because the reviews on this right now are fantastic. Two years ago when I got it, it was a, a mid-range, the reviews were okay, and people were saying like, this is really gonna be great. So now it's, ready, now it's ready to go. And honestly, I could keep it on the shelf for another 10 years if I wanted, but it's burning a hole in my pocket. It's like when you get a gift card and you're like, what am I gonna buy? I have this great bottle of wine and I'm like, when am I gonna drink it? It's going to get greasy. So we had spaghetti for dinner. Spaghetti for dinner. Spaghetti for dinner. Spaghetti for dinner. Spaghetti, spaghetti. I didn't shoot any footage of it. It just looked like regular spaghetti. I like, I browned some meat with some garlic powder, onion powder, and salt. And then I added some like pre-made spaghetti sauce to it and kept that on a simmer boiled some noodles and poured it all together. And so I made like basic spaghetti. Basic spaghetti, but uh, it felt kind of good to make basic spaghetti. I've never really made it before. Maybe once or twice in my life. You know, before I vlogged, I really didn't ever cook at all. I grilled on nice days, like grilling outside. Like I can grill, but I never cooked in the kitchen. But anyway, spaghetti for dinner was good. Um, now, I really am, I really am going to open this bottle of wine. Brain Cantonac 2009, it's a Margot. It's supposed to be great. Oh yeah, and I'm wearing my purple hat because I'm doing some wine stuff. This is my officially my wine hat. Let's hope, let's hope it's good. I, I recently opened a bottle of wine that was oxidized and now I'm wary that every bottle I open, I'm like, oh, I hope this bottle, because with wine, since corks are just made of cork, basically, uh, sometimes the bottle's flawed. A bottle can just go bad. It just happens sometimes. So this is a really nice bottle. I, I hope that everything just goes how it's supposed to. By the looks of that, we're in for something good. Let me tell you, 
People that drink wine do not sniff the cork to find out anything about the bottle of wine. Nevertheless, I always like to sniff the cork because it reminds me of when I was a little kid. My mom would take me over to her friend's house, Marsha, and she had a wine collection and in her kitchen it smelled like wine corks. That is the smell of Marsha's kitchen when I was a kid. So how about that? I'm not going to decant this and I'm not going to use an aerator. I'm just gonna drink the bottle, just straight from the bottle. No, I might I might put the aerator on it after the first glass, but I just wanna pour, pour a glass of this right out of the bottle and see what I think. Mmm, smells great. Oh, wow. Okay, something about Bordeaux wines as they, just a good wine as it gets a little bit older, it can like take over your senses. Like instantly my, like my face feels high. It's like, I can't even explain it. It's a, it's a little bit of a sensory overload. It's, it's amazing. That is so good. Whoo! <laughs> I'm probably blushing. I'm probably blushing. I'm gonna have a hard time taking my time with such a good wine. Smoke, earth, forest floor on the taste. You know, a little bit of oak, a lot of berry. The mouthfeel is fantastic. The, I guess the, the structure of wine. It's more than just the mouthfeel. It's not just the taste. Your, your, mouth, your mouth is like a spaceship and the wine is like the pilot of your mouth spacecraft. The structure of the wine is like how artful the pilot is in your mouth spacecraft. That's, <laughs> that's the best way I know to explain it. What? It's a combination of taste and feel. The structure is fantastic. Cause all I'm trying to say is the structure is fantastic here. My mouth spacecraft is happy. If you ever want to knock your socks off a bottle of fantastic wine for a really special occasion, um, this right here, this right here will do the job. It's Chateau Brain Cantenac, and it's the 2009. Um, it's going to Margot, France, and whoa, man, it's amazing. It will be, it'll be a long time before I have a bottle this nice again. You know, it's funny, I pointed it out to Amanda. I was like, that bottle laying down there is an expensive bottle of wine. Like I bought it a few years ago, it got older, it's more expensive, it's ready to drink. She was like, we should try it. If Amanda hadn't said we should try it, I would have just kept leaving it there. But I think my greatest fear with a good bottle of wine like this is that I will want to drink more good bottles of wine like this. That's, that's, that's the real. Yes, you leveled up. Yeah. He just leveled up with this wine. <laughs> I always justify, when you open a great bottle of wine, you can always justify it by saying, by tasting this fantastic wine, I'll find things to look for in less expensive wines so that I can pick ones that I like. When I moved from $5 bottles to $10 bottles, I was saying that. When I moved from $10 bottles to $15 bottles, I was saying that, like, I'm learning about the wine, I'm learning what to taste. It's always been true, and it's, I think there's no, there's no end to it with wine. That's, that's what's special about wine. It's like music, it can, it can be explored your whole life, and you might never even taste the taste that was the taste you were looking for all that time. Just like with music, you might never, you might never find that, that artist or that style that's the that one that, really hit you right there. So I'm not gonna do a full on wine tasting here. I just wanted to share my first reaction to this great wine with you guys. Um, I'd rather just drink this and smell it and taste it than try to analyze it. So, you know, I'm sure there's a sommelier out there on YouTube doing a great review of this wine. Um, or someone from France that drinks much nicer bottles of wine talking about, you know, what this smells like and tastes like. Uh, but really, I just wanted to share my first, my first reaction to you. I think it was probably a pretty good one. I, my, I, I bet my face lit up. I, like I said, I, my face felt like it got high instantly at the first sip of this stuff. So anyway, today's been an awesome day. Really great day. Um, I'm gonna end the vlog here. I'm just gonna enjoy the rest of this wine and chill out and get some rest. I'm Bird Snake. Thanks for watching. Thanks for joining me on my day today. Oh, I can't ever say thanks before I say I'm Bird Snake. Thanks for watching. <laughs>